Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to make a very short video about the follow-up on this little pen. So, this will be the first uh, video that I put in the category of pen repairs or modifications and this is the update on the yellow shuttle. So, yesterday I showed you this pen on my YouTube channel. This is the Vingsung 60 and it is a very nice looking pen and also a pen that writes really well. Very good nib. You can check the review that I made yesterday, so it's a very interesting pen. But I don't really love this yellow space shuttle. I love yellow. I love yellow on pens. I have a lot of yellow pens, but I don't think that this little space shuttle makes any sense. So, yesterday I told you that I would try to remove this little spaceship and then I would let you know how it was beneath that. When we discuss this, and you can check the comments of the previous video, we commented, some people asked if there was any hole inside if there was any kind of liner inside the cap. I cannot show you because my lights don't allow me to do that, but there is like a blind cap made of metal. I don't know if it is machined out of the, the cap or is a separate piece, but however, this space shuttle is above that blind cap, so no holes will, would go all the way through down to the to the inner cap. So, and I, I, I decided that I would try to remove it and then I would let you know. And that's what I did. I removed this little space shuttle and I just wanted to show you what do we have here. First, let's talk about the tool. For removing the space shuttle, I thought of trying to lift one of the little wings of it, maybe with a knife or something like that. But I thought that using a knife, I can cap the pen, that using a knife could scratch this very shiny and chrome uh, finish. So I decided not to do that with a knife, but I had to find uh, a more adequate tool that should be kind of soft, ideally plastic, and I cannot go, because we are in these stay-at-home days, we cannot try to go to stores to find things, and I am trying to find many stuff at home, throwing some away and reusing some of the stuff I have, and so I remembered of something to use this. And this is a little plastic strip that's quite strong and is good to go beneath that. And you will ask me, what is that? It is a very sophisticated tool. No, it's not. And it's just one of these loops that comes from this kind of paper binding. These are old um, college notes that I that I have and these are really really old they are around 20 years old and so I this uh, I've been using this as scrap paper for jotting down some ideas or something like that that's not to keep just to to think in paper so I went for that and reminded that these usually are quite strong, so I pulled one off, I cut it with a scissor, so I have it here now. And now, let's see how it was. Now it will be very easy because I already removed it, but all that I did was to put this little part, let me show you. And I need to hold the plane because it's not that secure now. 
I have to put it beneath and then I forced it like that, like if it was a knife and then it came out. So, first the little space shuttle, and I hit the camera, the little space shuttle is made of plastic and it is well made and now I, I think I like it more when I look at it like this. And on the underside it has two little, I don't know if I can show it, them to you, like this I can, two little pins that go into two little holes on the cap. And there they are. There is some residue of the yellow of, of the spaceship on the holes, as you see. But everything else was okay. I did not uh, clean it. I didn't do anything. And it works really well. It looks great with no problem at all. So, the rest of the cap has no problem. It's perfectly clean. Uh, perfectly, perfectly good. Just those little two little holes. Now I know that the pen looks better without the little spaceship, but what should I do about these two holes? I would like to have your opinion, as we are going to to do to do this together. I would like to to hear your advice. I. I read some comments, one of the comments suggested that I would paint these in metallic silver or grey and then apply it again. So I can do that, I just need to put a little bit of glue there and then to glue it. I cannot do it right now because I don't have silver paint at home and I cannot... It's not advisable for me to live in this moment of the virus pandemics. But these two holes, what would you do? Would you put this back as it was before and forget about it and use the pen with the yellow spaceship, the uh, space shuttle? Or would you paint the space shuttle? Or would you remove it and leave the two holes? Or many options. You would try to fill up the holes with something and f just to, to do not look like this. Would you fill it with, with, with something? Or again, would you try to apply something else here instead of this? So you could have some other little something to act as a roll, or as a roll stopper. Maybe you can do that or just leave it like this. Or maybe to get a Caveco Lilliput. I didn't try that. Caveco Lilliput clip to put here and to try to hide the holes with the Caveco Lilliput clip. So, what do you think I should do? I really wanted to know your opinion because I think it may be fun to do like this. Uh, this is quite an inexpensive pen, so I'm not really worried if this goes wrong, but the pen writes really well and it would be funny to have some ideas that may inspire some of you that may buy this pen and may do some modifications. So, this was my update on the yellow space shuttle and please give me your suggestions on the comments below and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.